Well, it looks like it could be the big day or the day of reckoning for me and this uh, Royal Enfield Model K 1000cc V twin from 1930. Um, I think I'm at a point where I'm going to have to try and start it and cross my fingers and uh, hopefully if all goes well it'll start and run. But there's only one way to find out. As far as I know everything's ready. So um, I've just got to... Uh, a few little extra things you've got to do on these and that includes turning the oil on so the oil's on the oil pump's primed and i've got oil in the crankcase already um, also the oil pump's turned up to its highest setting see there it's got that little adjust, adjust a wheel on it and on the highest setting for the maximum flow and input of oil so basically I think I'm ready to go. I've got sparks at the right time. I've got compression. The valves are opening and closing as and when they should. And uh, I've got fuel. So I'm going to turn the fuel on next. And if that doesn't pour out everywhere, because I haven't turned the fuel on yet at all since the uh, carburetor and the fuel pipes and everything have been done. That sounds promising. Tickle it up. Right, I'm going to put the camera down out the way and, uh, well, let's see, as I've often said before, what if anything happens. Although the ignition timing is supposedly right, I've got a feeling that perhaps it's not. Um, well that's full retard just in case, but I don't think that's right. If nothing else, hopefully that's proof that when I really do try and start things for the first time, that it's not a setup job and it really is the first attempt. I'm going to check a few things over and uh, no doubt we'll have another try at this shortly. I'm going to get my breath back and go and have my lunch.